Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson, and if you haven't been asked to live stream a wedding yet, I'm sure it will happen to you at some point in the future. Inevitably, you will have a couple tell you, hey, we have some friends and family members that are unable to attend the wedding because of health reasons, or they're out of town or out of the country and they're unable to fly in. Would you live stream the wedding to the internet so our friends can tune in and watch our wedding ceremony? Today, I want to give you a broad overview of live streaming equipment and apps that you can potentially add as a service whenever you film a wedding. Now this overview is going to cover three ways you can live stream a wedding ceremony, varying from simple to complex. So depending on your level of experience and budget, you should be able to find something that fits your needs. Let's start off simple. The quickest and easiest way to live stream a wedding ceremony is to use a cell phone. Grab your smartphone, a tripod, and a phone mount, set it up near the front of your ceremony site, open up the Facebook or YouTube app, and as long as you have a fast enough cellular data connection or Wi-Fi, you're good to go. You can even choose to have Facebook only go live to a set audience, like the couple's family. Or you could make your live stream unlisted on YouTube and have the couple share the link with their friends and family that can't attend. Now while the main pros of this setup are that it's super quick and basically anyone can do it, there are two big cons. The first is audio. You are at the mercy of your phone's microphone. Unless you want to rig up a wireless microphone system to run into your phone's headphone jack, if it has one. This is a major pain, and you can work around it with adapters. I'll be sure to link to some down in the description. But there is another big con of this setup that we need to address. The second con of a smartphone live streaming setup is that you can't monitor the video or audio. Unless you stand nearby and watch the back of the phone, you have no way to know if it's still recording everything properly, if your shot is still composed well, if your audio is still transmitting without issues, etc. And it's not like you can run over to check it all the time. You have a wedding to film with your main cameras. You could hire someone to monitor the smartphone live stream, but then that kind of defeats the purpose of this being a quick and cheap option. Now let's move on to the second option you have while live streaming a wedding. And this option I consider to be the sweet spot because it fixes all those smartphone live streaming issues while not breaking the bank. Your second option for live streaming a wedding ceremony is to purchase a camera with a built-in live streaming capability. My recommendation to you may not be the first in your mind when you think of a camera for live streaming. It's a GoPro. I would go for the Hero 8 Black because it's the first GoPro to live stream in full HD 1080p. It currently retails for around $350. Now why am I recommending a GoPro? Because this camera is going to let you wirelessly monitor your live stream across the room from the comfort of your cell phone. You can be filming the wedding with your main camera while still checking to make sure everything looks and sounds good for the live stream. And as long as you have a cell phone plan that lets you use your phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, the GoPro will also use your phone's cellular or Wi-Fi connection to stream directly to the internet. So the GoPro fixes the wirelessly monitoring your screen issue whenever you use your cell phone. But what about the audio? Well, I have good news for you there as well. Because you can purchase the GoPro Media Mod for $79 that will give you a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. You can then plug in a wireless lav mic like the tiny Rode Wireless Go, and boom, for a little over $600, you have a dedicated live streaming setup. As a plus, you also have a nifty little action camera that you can use to film some cool angles of wedding moments. Incidentally, I know that I'm throwing a lot of gear your way. I will link to all of the stuff that I've talked about down in the video description. Almost done with the GoPro. I do have two quick recommendations for it though. First, GoPros are not known for their stellar battery life. So to make sure this one lasts for the whole ceremony, I would bring along a USB battery pack and plug it into the USB-C port on the GoPro Media Mod to keep it running. Second, GoPros are known for their fisheye effect. So I would use the narrow field of view option in the GoPro settings, which makes the view much tighter. I would also set up the GoPro as close to the efficient and couple as possible without blocking the guest's view. Alternatively, you don't have to worry about any of this if you use my third option for live streaming. Now let's finish up with the last option that I have for you for live streaming your wedding ceremonies. And full disclosure here, this is by far the most complex setup, but it also results in the best quality. You will first need a DSLR or mirrorless camera, like say, the Sony a6400. The only requirement for your camera is that it needs to have an HDMI port. Second, you will need an HDMI cable, as well as an HDMI to USB capture card. There are a ton of options out there for capture cards, but I would recommend the Elgato Camlink 4K, which I own and love, 
that retails for about 130 bucks. You're going to connect the cam link to your laptop. Yes, you're going to need a laptop. I told you this was going to be more complex. And then the laptop is going to need to be connected to Wi-Fi or to a wireless hotspot. FYI, I would not trust most wedding venues Wi-Fi, especially once 300 guests arrive and all try to connect to it at once. It's really in your best interest to bring your own Wi-Fi hotspot or tether to your phone. Lastly, you need software to make all this stuff work. I would recommend OBS Studio. It works with both Mac and PC and will let you set up your live stream to Facebook, YouTube, or anywhere else you want it to go. What about audio, Matt? You didn't talk about audio. Well, I have more good news for you. The Elgato Cam Link will send your camera's video and audio to your computer. Ideally, your camera has a mic jack on it, right? Heck, if you're shooting with a larger video camera, you might even have XLR inputs. So you can easily set up a wireless lav system like that Rode Wireless Go and have it run into your camera, then through the HDMI to the cam link, your laptop, and then the internet. While this setup is the most complex, it is gonna result in the best quality. With your live streaming audience able to look at your bokeh-licious video that you have from your camera, combined with the crisp, clear audio from the lav mic. So there you have it, three different ways to live stream your wedding ceremonies. Have you used one of these before? Do you have a different method? Please leave me a comment down below and let me know. Also, if you're a videographer, I know that you probably want to book more couples and film more weddings. To help you out with this, I've created a PDF guide full of practical changes that you can make to your business to immediately start getting more bookings. It's a free gift to you. You can download it at the link down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.